So several of you who have watched my videos on the foot trimming flip table and the goat and sheep handling system have asked me questions about how the sliding gates work on my chute system. I'll try to remember to link those videos at the end of this video also. But anyway, today I thought we would take a look at that gate system, the dimensions of it, how it works, and maybe give you some ideas of how you can build something similar or build something better. Come along. So my gates are made out of repurposed hand railing from an old school that was torn down. But basically all they are is one inch square tubing. You could make the entire frame and rungs out of one inch square tubing and that would work perfectly fine. The dimensions on mine are 21 inches wide. Now that's dependent upon the width of your chute. My chute's 20 inches and so I made the gate just one inch wider than that so that it would uh, overlap just a little bit and be held in place. About 40 inches tall is a good uh, height for this. Uh, you want to be sure down at the bottom that you have no more than about six inches of clearance. Otherwise, they'll stick their head under and try to go under. The handle is just rebar that I welded on there. Anything would suffice for that. And the gate frame is actually hung in place by one inch tubing that is slid over a three quarter inch round stock that I picked up at a fabricating shop. The round stock is fastened in place by conduit fasteners, just screwed in the bottom of a two by eight. Probably the most difficult part of the whole process of setting this up is your stops to hold it in place. So this one is on the end of, of my chute, you know, right where, where my flip table is. And so I don't have anything on this side of it to, to, uh, to, to be able to sandwich it between. So what I had to do is at the bottom, I had to make a block and then use a piece of metal uh, on the outside of that block so that it'll hold it in place. Now, on the other side, what you have is I have a two by four fastened right here with another piece of metal on this side so that the gate slides in and locks in place and they can't move it out. If you're positioning the gate in the middle of your chute, what you can do is make a gap, put a post on one side, a post on the other side, put a block in between to give it a width of about an inch and a half to two inches, and then your gate can slide in between. So there are obviously other designs that work well. This is a horizontally sliding gate. They make vertical sliding gates as well, where you actually have the slides that run parallel up and down and the, the gate slides up and down. They call that a guillotine style gate. There's also a swing gate, which has a pivot in one spot and the gate actually swings out to the side and swings back. That design is simple enough the problem is, is I've seen sheep be able to open it themselves and make their way through. I like this design pretty well. Obviously, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a very good welder, but uh, it's functional enough for my purposes and use. And if it gives you some ideas of how to improve upon it and make something better, that's fantastic. If you do have some ideas that you think would be helpful to me or to the viewers that were watching this, please leave them in the comments below. We'd all benefit from that. I appreciate you watching. And if you're in the Northwest Alabama 
area and you need goats or sheep, give me a call, see what I have available at the time. As always, happy farming. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like more content like this.